Hi, and welcome to another episode of Sony's Pro Audio Files. My name is Andy Munitz, Product Manager for Sony's Professional Audio Division. And in this video, we'll go into the topic of channels and groups as it applies to both our UWPD and DWX wireless microphone series. Well, it should be obvious that wireless microphones are very useful tools, but to make sure that they operate at their best, it's important to know about frequency and group choices, not just the various menu selections that the wireless units offer. Although this topic can get a bit deep, it's really worth learning about. So get ready, because here we go. To start things off, it's important to know that basically many wireless mics operate in unused UHF TV channel spaces, not currently occupied by TV broadcast stations. And it's also worth mentioning that different cities have different TV stations occupying different channels. So having maximum flexibility in choosing the channels that your wireless mics will operate on in your own location is obviously important. As you can see in this chart, our Sony wireless mics operate in the range of UHF TV channels 14 all the way up to UHF TV channel 36. In UWPD, we then split this very large spectrum range into two and offer our identical equipment packages in either a 14 system, which covers UHF TV 14 up through 25, or a 25 package, which covers UHF TV channels 25 up through 36. In the case of our latest generation DWX digital wireless products, there are no blocks as they are able to tune anywhere within the allowable FCC mandated UHF spectrum from UHF TV channel 14 up through TV channel 38. It's also worth noting that channel 37 in the DWX's range is not available for use with wireless mics as it's reserved for radio astronomy. Now, Within each of these TV channels, where each one is 6 megahertz wide so that it can carry a TV channel's complete color video and audio signal over the air, with our 125 kilohertz spacing between adjacent wireless mic channels, we can fit 47 frequencies within that one TV channel. In UWPD, if you realize that each unit is capable of tuning in up to 72 megahertz of frequencies, or 12 UHF TV channels, where again, each one is six megahertz wide, six times 12 is 72. We then split that large range into further thirds, for example, as in the 14 block model from 14 to 17, 18 to 21, and 22 to 25. This helps with doing quick clear channel scans, for example, and you can change between these frequency bands via the menus in the units. So having a quick look at the UWPD receiver's display, we can see the following. Zero, zero refers to the current group, something we'll get into in a bit, followed by the UHF TV channel number, for example, 14 in this case, and then Finally, one of the 47 possible wireless mic channels, in this case, 01. Within each of our units, you are able to scan for the best available frequency for use at any particular location. As the receiver or tuner's job is to look outward to bring in channels, it can do an excellent job at picking the best one for use, likely better and certainly faster than you could do manually. Even though the clear channel scanning procedure is specific to either our UWPD or DWX wireless series, the concept is the same, finding the quietest background noise frequency available for use at that particular location and time. Now, this topic of clear channel scanning leads directly into the concept of groups. You see, a group is nothing more than a database of frequencies that the receiver will scan through in looking for an available wireless mic channel. So the question is, why? Well, if you are a one-man band shooter and all that you care about is finding the best channel for your own wireless mic, you'd obviously like to look at the biggest selection of available channels to choose the best one from. And that's what group 00 is for. This is a frequency and group chart, which, by the way, comes with your wireless mics. 
and is also available for download in the resource tab of wireless mics on our pro.sony slash audio website. Although this chart looks a bit complex, let's break it down. You'll see that this page is the channel listings for group 00 for UHF TV channels 14 through 17. You'll also see that in this chart, there is 125 kilohertz spacing between adjacent channels. Because we're looking at group 00, this is a group that looks at all frequencies in the selected channel band. Again, in the case where you are intending to scan for only the one best channel, scanning all of these frequencies will give you the best result. And as you can see, within TV channel 14, there are 47 wireless mic channels listed. Another 47 in TV channel 15, another 47 in 16, and also in 17. If you add all of these together, you get 188 channels. And when you scan in group 00, your receiver will scan through all 188 channels to find the channel without any or the least amount of background signal noise. But why other groups? Well, when you have multiple wireless microphone systems, you want them all to work in the same location at the same time without possibly interfering with each other. You see, there's something called intermodulation distortion, which means that two transmitters' frequencies interaction can cause small sidebands that are best to avoid when selecting channels for additional wireless mics in a multi-channel environment. To protect against this possibility, your wireless receivers can be set to scan in various other groups, which are simply a selection of frequencies to scan through that are chosen mathematically that stay clear of other transmitters' main frequencies, as well as these small sidebands, or intermod artifacts. On this page, you'll see listings for the various groups, 01 through 09. If we look a little more closely, you'll see that group 01 offers a selection of eight channels that are known to work together, and in this case, have all frequencies from UHF TV channel 14. If your particular location has a TV channel already operating in TV channel 14, that wouldn't work. So then you might want to choose group 2, which offers another eight compatible channels, all made up within TV channel 15. And so on, with groups 3 within TV channel 16, and another eight in group 4 within TV channel 17. Your choice all depends on what frequencies are available for use in your location. By the way, there are a couple of methods I might suggest for finding out what channels or white spaces are available in your location. First, there are some websites that will list the available white spaces and even show if there are dedicated TV channels for use with wireless microphones in your specific location. Additionally, you might simply set your wireless receiver to do a clear channel scan and then hit the plus button to look through the available channels in order of their quality. If you see many frequencies listed with low background noise levels all belonging to a particular TV channel, chances are that that TV channel is open and available and might be good for setting up a group for multiple channel operation. Now, if you need at least 11 compatible channels at one time, you can use groups 5 through 8, which use some frequencies from each of two different TV channels. Depending on which channels are used by a TV station in your area, pick the appropriate group that uses your combination of open channels. And finally, if you need at least 16 different compatible channels, use Group 9. A scan in Group 9 will do a very fast scan of compatible frequencies from all four TV channels in your chosen band. By the way, these charts are for use with our UWPD series of wireless, or for when you want to use DWX in combination with UWPD systems. If you were using the DWX wireless series exclusively, you can use what are referred to as D groups, as seen in this chart, for example, D1 through D9. With the DWX series, we can fit at minimum 50% more channels inside of a given TV channel. So the number of compatible frequencies within a group is much higher. As well, DWX now offers high-density channel group modes, which offer even more fully functional, no-compromise digital wireless transmission channels. So, 
if you do need many channels operating at the same time, how do you set them up? Well, simply choose a group based on open TV channel station availability and assign all receivers to that group. Scan on your first system and have it sync up with its transmitter. Then leave that transmitter turned on. Then start a scan on your second receiver and it will see and skip over the first transmitter's frequency you just set up and then choose the next available one in the group and then sync up that transmitter. Just continue this procedure until you've assigned all of your systems. Now, finally, if you keep scrolling through the available groups in your receiver, you'll notice that it continues past group 9 and in this band choice offers group 14, 15, 16, and 17 as well. These higher groups offer frequency selection with only a 25 kilohertz spacing between adjacent channels, not 125 kilohertz, and offers up to 231 assignable frequencies within a particular TV channel. You might want to use these groups if you need to be compatible with another manufacturer's wireless system or if you are assigned a specific frequency by an RF coordinator at a large venue or event where there are lots of wireless mic systems in operation. You can select this group and then manually go to that specific frequency and then sync up your transmitter to match. In the DWX series, a new feature even allows for the direct entry of a particular channel's frequency, digit by digit. Well, that's the channels and groups story. I know it's a bit complex and you might want to watch this video again, but once you understand this and the menu operation of your wireless system, you'll become its master and you'll be in total control of your audio. And that's a good thing. For most of you watching though, you'll likely just activate the NFC sync button on your UWPD system or set your system to auto set, scan and sync up your transmitter and away you go. Finally, if you'd like additional information on any of our Sony Pro Audio products, contact your Sony account manager, visit any of our dealers, or just visit us at pro.sony/audio. And thanks for watching.